All right, hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. This time we're taking a look at the Tokyo Brewery Mark 23. I know there have been a million and one videos made about these, but I just think it'd be really nice to have real clear instructions on how to upgrade one of these. Often you'll see the videos and it's either the video is not clear enough or I think the description of what they've done isn't quite clear enough. So I plan to put my own video together. So the parts I'm going to be using are the Hadron Design TDC mod with the twin screw plate, the Maple Leaf Crazy Jack 133mm barrel, and the Maple Leaf 50 degree Autobot hop rubber with the Hadron Design fang plate. First you want to start off by making sure you do not have magazine in the gun. Then you want to remove your suppressor, so you want to take off the slide with a test. Next thing you want to do is to remove this pin here. And what you'll need to do is slide it back because you see the top of the pin has to come out where this groove is just here. Otherwise, you will not be able to get it out. Come out just like that. You can push it from the other side where that hole is. Okay, so what I will recommend is make sure you keep all of your parts somewhere safe so that you can't lose them. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is to remove your slide. Mine's a little bit stiff because I've painted it, but it should just slide forward like this. Then you lift the front end, and slide it out like that. You won't need a lower receiver for the rest of this video. Just put that to one side. So now you're left with your slide and your internals. So what we're going to do next is to remove our barrel assembly. So if you take it from here, push towards the front like this, and lift upwards, from the side so you can get a little view. So push forward and then push down. And that will just come out. You don't need to slide anymore. The slide can go to one side as well. So the next thing you're going to want to do is to remove this plate here, which is on a spring. As you can see, it's just on these two little catches, one here one here, and then the same on the other side, but just the one just there. So if you use a small prying tool, you have to be careful, because it is only plastic. Push under here, lift up, and it should just slide off. These come off quite easily. Now what you want to be really careful with with this step, this spring here. Remove that, keep that safe. Now you won't actually need that if you're installing the TDC mod. Okay, so now you'll be left with your hop assembly and barrel without the plate on top. This one just here, which we've just removed, along with the spring. So now what you want to do is remove your outer barrel. To remove your outer barrel, you should remove this screw here. So you need a slightly larger crosshead screwdriver. Keep that safe, you're going to need it again. And then you should just be able to pull the outer barrel off. It can be a little bit stiff. Just be careful not to get a caught on the spring. There we go. Put that to one side. So now you'll see the stock Tokyo and Maru barrel. Is that aluminium? Okay, so now we've removed our outer barrel, we want to take a look inside our hop up unit. And for this, you'll need a slightly smaller crosshead screwdriver. And you'll need to remove two screws. One is here, and one is here. So remove these and keep them safe because you will need them when you put it back together. Okay, 
Now they are up. We can take a half unit apart. So you need to be careful when you take this apart because the hop wheel here can easily come out and the hop arm, which you can see here, can also just fall out. And you do not want to lose them. Just be careful there. There we are, the hop arm's trying to escape. The way the hop works is so with this wheel here, as it turns, See, it pulls the hop arm down here onto the black hop rubber. It's not as accurate as it would be put together. So now I want to leave the hop wheel where it is, take out the hop arm carefully, put that to one side because you'll need it, and then remove your barrel. So that is the stock Tokyo Maru barrel with the stock rubber. Nothing wrong with it at all but I find you get slightly better results with the maple leaf. So at this point, you want to take your new barrel and your new hop-up rubber. Be careful not to lose this metal ring. Put that carefully to one side. Your hop-up rubber, if you see here, there's these two lines. In between there is where the actual contact with the BB will be. So you want to line them up with the port on your barrel there. Slide that on nice and gently, and it should just sort of fit into place. And it shouldn't be able to turn. Next thing you want to do is take a metal ring and put it around this ring just here, around your hot rubber. This is unique to maple leaf hot rubbers, as far as I'm aware. Sometimes that's totally overexposed. Well, yeah. I want to make sure this part here is still able to move down, because that's where you'll be applying pressure to the BB. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is put our barrel, and with the new hop-up installed, back into our hop-up unit. So this tab here, Wants to go facing down and do this hole here. Nice easy to do. Make sure you keep your finger on your hot wheel here. And you turn it over because you'll be able to see here where the hop tab, hop up rubber tab comes through. That's how you know you've got it the right way. So now I want to put back together our hop-up unit. So you want your hop-up wheel here to be set to the most clockwise position. And then you want to take your fang plate. And what this will do is ensure you get nice even pressure on the BB. So making sure your hot wheel stays in place, you want to put your little fang plate just on top with the fangs pointing down onto your hot patch, onto, onto the end, just there. Just there. And then you want to take your hop up arm, using the stock hop arm, hop arm which came with my pistol. And that will fit nicely inside. Like that there. All the while, make sure you're keeping your hop wheel in place. So now, hopefully, you should have something that looks like this. Your Fine plate in place, your stock hop arm back in place, your new rubber and your new barrel. And now you can put it back together. So this hole here is where I tend to line it up, and this one lines up with the hop wheel nub just here. So I can push that back together, like so, nice and easy. I'm going to take our two little screws that we took out. From 
here and here, and put them back together. Now you don't want to over tighten these because they are just plastic, but you do want it nice and snug. Now you can ignore your hot wheel because you're not going to be used that for your adjustment. Next thing is to put your outer barrel back on. So that will just slide into place over your new barrel. Like so. And then you want to put the large screw back into place to hold your barrel together. This one's going to be a bit tighter because that is a metal construction. Okay, so now you want to take your top down cover mod, which is this thing just here. I'm using the twin screw plate, it does come supplied with a single screw. I just find I get a little bit more control with the twin screws. What that allows you to do is to apply pressure, so that should be that way up. No, no, it shouldn't directly down on top of the uh, hop unit. It also means you don't have to take your slide off to adjust your hop up. Okay. So this is nice and simple. Where this one came off before, where it's got these holes there, you'll see on the side here we've got one hole there and there. And the same on this side, one hole there. The two holes on this side will line up with this one, with this tab here, and this tab here. What you will notice, however, is it has these little sort of fangs that come off here. So you need to put it on at an angle, like this. I need some more lighter underneath. So you have to come at it with this angle. It will be quite tough. So we'll need to stretch around it there. So you see how that is. Just on top. And slide it into place. So these little fangs here will clip just under there and just under there to hold it in place. And you'll notice as well, where there was movement in the, uh, the stock unit here, there is no play at all. That's good because it means you're going to direct pressure onto your hop-up with those screws up here. Okay, so now we just put it back on the slide. Nice and simply, on the tip of your barrel, this part on the inside, pop it in, so you can see it coming out at the end, there, push it in, until you meet these two tabs here, and then we'll just slide back into place. Okay. Nice and simple. All that's left now is to put it back on the lower receiver. So what you want to do is line up the back corner here with these little tabs or rails, I should say, just here. First, like this. And slide them back as you apply pressure to the front. Down. And then just push it back. Then all that's left is to line these holes up again here for your pin. So, line this up here so that you can nice and easily pop your pin back in like so. And push the slide forward. And there we are. That should be you done. What you'll need to do now is, depending on what weight you're using, is to go out and make small adjustments to your hop. And what it really means is rather than having to take it apart and do a little bit of hop, what you can do is take it an hour, keep it just a nice size, 
like that, and just adjust it the tiniest amount. So all that's left for you to do now is to dial in your hop up, and you'll have one screw here, like this plate which I've got here. Mine had two because I went for the I opted for the um, twin screw plate, and then take your your Allen key, and you can just tighten those to meet your requirements. I tend to use 0.25 because I've recently been using doing a lot of CQB kind of stuff. I'm getting around 300 FPS with a 0.2 with this barrel setup. Had I done this again, I potentially would have taken the 150 mil barrel, which would come out a little bit at the end, potentially to about here. And that gives you that little bit of an FPS bump. But I've not found any issues with it. And I can easily hop 0.49s out to about 60 meters. I use both Tokyo Maru mags, I've got one left somewhere, uh, H, uh, ASG mags and STTI mags. And I've not had any problems with any of them using my Tokyo Marui Mark 23. So if you found this useful, please let me know, leave a like, get subscribed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.